Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode on money management system, a practical approach to design an effective money management system for active traders. In the first episode, we talked about the importance of money management and we briefly talked about the objectives of this course and what we are going to learn. But here, the main question is why money management is important. Like dieting and working out, money management is something that most traders pay lip service to, but few practice it in real life. The reason is simple. Just like eating healthy and staying fit, money management can seem like a burdensome, unpleasant activity. It forces traders to constantly monitor their positions and to take necessary losses, and few people like to do that. And it's just that kind of behavior that gets the average novice traders into trouble because they don't yet own the perception that risk analysis and money management are really important. In this table, in the first column, you can see the amount of equity lost. And in the second columns, it shows the amount of a return necessary to restore to original equity value. This table better shows the importance of money management. For example, if a trader lose 50% of his or her capital, the trader must double his or her account just to bring it back to its original equity. And that's not an easy task and most traders cannot do it. So let's dive into money management and see how we can develop a sound money management system that can protect our capital and lower the risk of blowing out our trading account. The first important concept to understand is trade size does matter. The first subject I'm going to talk about is position size, which is the most important element in money management and trading, but it's very often ignored and most traders don't know anything about it. In this course, we assume you have already developed a trading system, you have a clear view of your trading strategy, and that strategy gives you the entry and exit signal. Before we see how we can calculate the trade size, let me introduce a very important concept, the risk of ruin, so that you can better understand the rest of this course. Risk of ruin is the probability that an individual will lose substantial amounts of money through investing or trading to the point where it's no longer possible to recover the losses and continue trading. It will tell you what the chances are that you are likely to go completely bankrupt and be ruined based on your historical win ratio and payoff ratio. But how to calculate our risk of ruin? Risk of ruin is based on three components, your win ratio, your payoff ratio, or you know this um, parameter as risk to reward ratio, and the percent of capital exposed to trading. So let's define each of these components and see how they affect the risk of ruin. The first one is win ratio. This is based on your percentage of wins and your, probability, and your probability of winning. The second one is payoff ratio, or known as risk to reward ratio, which shows how many dollars you are earning compared to one dollar you are losing. And the last one is the percentage of capital exposed to trading, which depends on how much risk you can tolerate. The first two items depends on your trading system, your strategy and your skills as a trader and your money management system control the third item. I will talk more about these components and will show you how we can calculate each of them in the next episode. 
The risk of ruined potential decreases as the payoff ratio increases or the probability of winning increases. In this course, we are assuming you already have a trading system that gives you an edge and provides you with a payoff ratio uh, greater than 1 to 1. So let's talk, uh, let's uh, take a look at some data on risk of ROIN and see how these components affect it and see why the percentage of capital at risk is so important to be exactly defined based on your win ratio and payoff ratio. In the table one, you can see the risk of ROIN probabilities with 10% of capital at risk. In the first column, you can see your win ratio, and here you have different payoff ratios. For example, if your win ratio is 40%, which means in 40% of the times, you are correct in your trading and your trade will hit the target. But if you have the payoff ratio of one to one, then your risk of ROIN is 100%. But you can see if you have the payoff ratio more than one to one, which is highly recommended, for example, one to two, you can see the risk of ROIN hugely decreased to 40%. And if you can increase your win ratio, then your risk of ROIN will go to zero. In the second case, if you decreased your risk to 5% in each trade, still you can see with, for the payoff ratio of 1 to 1 and up to the win ratio of 50%, still the risk of ruining your account is 100%. But for example, if your payoff ratio is 1 to 2 and your win ratio is 40%, then the probability of ruining your account is only 2%. And please note that a 0% probability means the total loss of equity is unlikely but not impossible. And finally, in this case, if you reduce your risk to 2%, Still, you can see for the payoff ratio of 1 to 1, still your, the risk of ruining, ruining your account is 100% if your win ratio is up to 50%. But for the payoff ratio of 1 to 2 and the win ratio of 40%, you can see the risk of ruining your account is almost 0%. Let's take a look at that. Look at an example. For example, if your capital, your account balance is ten thousand dollar, and your payoff ratio is one to two, and if you risk only two percent of your capital in each trade, it means you're going to risk two hundred dollars in each trade, and your reward will be four hundred dollars. For the set of 10 trades, if you win four of them, which means your win ratio is 40%, you can make $1,600. And if you lose six of your trades, and you will lose $1,200. And in total, you're still $400 in profit. Now you understand the importance of risk of ruin in your trading success. It's time to go deep into it and talk more about the important components. As we talked in the previous slides, one of the most important components is the percentage of capital to be risk in each trade. So the question here is how we can say how many percent should be risk in each trade. So it depends on different factors such as your personality, are you a risk hours type of person or you are a risk tolerant type of person? But there is a more reasonable method to find out the optimum risk percent based on your win ratio and payoff ratio. However, in order to find out your win ratio and payoff ratio, you have to have a clear record of your trades over a period of time, for example, at least three months. 
Then we will talk about these two factors as well as how to record your trading profit and loss. Okay, we have a formula to calculate the optimal fraction of capital to be risk in each trade. And here is the formula. In this formula, F represents the optimal fraction to be risk in one trade. A is the average payoff ratio and P represents average win ratio. For example, if your payoff ratio is one to, one, one to two and your win ratio is 35%, then the optimal fraction you're allowed to risk in one trade is 2.5%. Here, I want to introduce you a very handy website where you can easily calculate your risk of ruin. Here is the website, the second sky is trading. For example, if you enter your payoff ratio, let's say our payoff ratio is two and your win ratio, the accuracy means your win ratio in, in that example, we had the win ratio of 35%. And how many percent you want to risk? 2.5%. Then if you calculate the risk of ruin, you can see your risk of ruin is 13.75%. And if you reduce your risk to 2%, then you can see the risk of ruin just half. So you can use these websites to easily calculate your risk of ruin for different data you have. For example, maybe you want to have the payoff ratio of more than two or your accuracy or your win ratio is more than 35%. Then you can easily use these websites and calculate your risk of ruin. So here is the end of episode two. Please go through these episodes one more time and then go to the next episode. See you on next episode.